Well, hey there, everybody. It's time for another little teachable moment. So did you know what the most important thing is for people who live their lives in a wheelchair? You should do it every single day. Can you guess what it is? It's something that's often overlooked by a lot of people, but it's something that when you're living life in a wheelchair is so important. Can you guess what it is? It's not what you think. Now keep guessing because it's something that should be done every single day with or without fail. You should never ever skip this if you live in a wheelchair. Do you have any guesses yet? Uh -huh. So even though this is something that everyone who lives in a wheelchair should be doing every single day, I'm also gonna say this, able-bodied people should also be doing this. I think it's one of those things though that we all take for granted and we say, oh, I'll do it later, I'll do it later. You know what, we never end up doing it later, do we? How many of you guessed it was stretching? You can do stretching anywhere. You can do it here on your bed. You can even stretch on your sofa while you're watching your favorite show. Oh my God, everyone knows the answer was B. Phone a friend, do something, what is wrong with you? Also, stretching is so important. I have a mat here in the corner of my bedroom and I will actually flop that out and stretch on that. Now, you don't need some big fancy setup in order to stretch, right? I just have a mat that I got on Amazon and I put it on my floor in my bedroom. As you saw, I can also do it on my bed. I can also do it on my sofa. Now, if you're wondering, hey, Amy, you can't move your legs. Why is it so important for you to stretch? Well, think about this, right? So I'm sitting all day, every day. Think about when you're sitting at a desk for work, right? How your back starts to hurt, how like you're just like, I just wanna stand up. Well, I don't have those feelings, right? So I have to stretch on my own. But sitting in a chair all day, every day can cause a lot of problems. What it can cause problems to is your hip flexors, which are those muscles that are right in your front if you go down from your hip bone down. And I can feel that mine are tight because I'm sitting all day long. They never get stretched out unless I'm down here stretching them, right? Also, your IT bands can get tight, which can cause your pelvis to move forward or backward, causing you to either hunch or to overextend, which can cause other problems. Also, let's talk about our feet, right? So you're up and walking all day, every day. Your Achilles tendons get stretched. You would think that mine would by being on a foot plate all day long but that's not the case at all. We can get drop foot very easily, which is where you can't get your foot back in this position. It only wants to go like that, and that is so bad. So we stretch our feet as well. It is so important to do this, and I know a lot of us overlook doing this because we're like, hey, we've got our day to do, we've gotta go work out, but we need to make this a part of our workout. Because it is important, it's important for our muscles, it's important for our tendons, our ligaments, our bones, although it's not gonna strengthen our bones, we do have some other things that can help us with that. It's not gonna help strengthen them necessarily, but it's just gonna give you better range of motion. It's gonna make it so that when you have to sit all day, your back doesn't hurt so you don't have to do all these crazy things that you see a lot of us doing. My friends can always tell when I am uh, not stretching or not sitting right, because what'll happen is here, on this arm specifically, I'll get tire marks because I lean right? Or I'll lean on this side. Whatever side is feeling whatever kind of angst or whatever you want to call it, that's the side that we lean to. So that's another way that we stretch. Another thing that's super important as I'm talking about this is mobility. So I have one of these. It's just, it's a cane. You can also get this on Amazon. It's got little balls on the ends of all of these things. And what you can do is you can dig into these muscles. I dig in mostly to my rhomboids, which are in the back. Um, and I'll show you where those are because from pulling, which is pulling up my wheelchair to get it into my car, right? Pulling myself up to get into a higher car, that's all the pulling that your rhomboids do. So your rhomboids are the ones that when you do rows in the gym and you get on that machine and you pull like this, you're obviously using your lats, using your shoulders, but you're also using those rhomboids, which are 
if you go, here's your spinal cord and here is your scapula, it's kind of right here, right? You kind of get those balls in there. So we do this. I also will do it. Oh, this feels so good. Hold on, let me stay here for a minute. Six and a half hours later. I need a massage like nobody's business. That's another part of being uh, in a wheelchair that is really helpful is if you are able to get a massage, highly recommend trying to do one. This one, I can also dig into my lats. I can dig into my pecs if I need to. I can dig into anything. So these are things that when you are living in a wheelchair that nobody ever thinks about, um, but it is very, very important. And we can do it just about anywhere. But remember to stretch. Remember if you've got someone in your family or that you follow on Instagram or on Facebook or on the Tiki Talks, remind them to stretch because it is so, so important for every single person. And it's as important as getting your coffee, getting your water, brushing your teeth. It's as important as that. So make sure that you do that. And until then, my stretchy friends, I hope you have a beautiful day. Remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others. Everyone's fighting a battle that we know nothing about and have an awesome day. Until the next one, I'll see you later. Be well.